Hello Transport friends, I'm Colonel Transport and this is Transport Failure. Uh, in the last episode we started to look at potentially clearing up a few bits and pieces to, uh, to resolve a few of the red lines that we were running before, and red lines for those of you who aren't uh, using that terminology yet, you soon use, you surely will be. Um, uh, yes, basically a red line is one that is not profitable. And uh, we made some headway into that, as the uh, as the current bank balance should adequately show off. Uh, the bank balance itself made all the more impressive by the fact that there is no loan. I've paid it all off. Uh, I rolled forward just a little bit, did a little bit more work. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did, but it was, you know, not very much at all. Um, but before killing the loan off, look, I mean, you know, we made 51 million last year, and that's on top of spending 20 million on more trains, right? I think we've got this. Uh, I, think, I think we're under control. Uh, more work needs to be done. However, I was sat here because I was expecting a train to come back this way uh, for, for the traditional, oh my gosh, what a surprising opening to the episode. We're in uh, Wolfenschiessen, and I wanted to show off one of the new trains that we've got going on. Look at this. Single track into the station. Right? I pity the people who live here. Uh, and then, this is, this is quite a nice tracking shot you've got going on here, son. Nice work. Uh, maybe a bit of road to generate some more growth around here would be a would be a boon. I mean, you know, never know. Any, boy, it might not be worth doing yet though, because we might bulldoze that station and build something bigger. Oh, I'm just going to have to go and hunt it down. Come here, oi, you. There uh, we go. Here it is. Right. So the uh, the the class 37 that we're that we're running uh, Wolfenschiessen to uh, Ennisberg. Um, is, uh, you know, it's, it's filling up nicely. 126 capacity, 126 on board. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Uh, is uh, is making good money, uh, I believe. I, d I hadn't checked. I was That was a gamble on my part. Um, but it's doing rather nicely, and, uh, and and long may it continue to do so. Now, before we crack on, I, we're even, this is pre-intro we're at here, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the manufacturer of goods, uh, because, as you can plainly, plainly see, we have planks and plastic versus planks and steel. Now, steel, as you know, we make it over there. Uh, we could quite easily ship it down the river and use the steel, along with the planks as well. Potentially making those two areas, this is starting to sound like the better idea, man. Um, you know, potentially making those two uh, production hubs all the more productive. Uh, it's a long way. That's the uh, that's the real weakness that we've got going on. You know, you might think it's a long way just to get up here to Interlaken uh, to turn them into tools and machines, but that is peanuts compared to how far it is to bring them all the way down here. Uh, I'd need to be running, I don't know, a dozen or more uh, ships to make that work. Plus, they then end up taking the goods away, and and I don't want them to take the goods away. I want to put the goods on my aircraft because uh, that will make this air route all the more profitable. Because uh, actually, I have no idea if it's profitable or not at the moment. Place your bets. You have three seconds to decide whether this route, which currently brings food in one direction, or, and looks like construction materials as well, um, when it can be bothered. What are, what are you packing? There we go. 15 tools are on board there. Don't ask me. I don't know. Uh, before heading back the other way. Um bit of a queuing problem, if I'm honest. All right, okay, you've had time to decide. Is it profitable? Yay, nay, it is profitable. All right, I'm quite surprised by that. Um, but, but there it is. Yeah, this is a profitable route. Now, I can make this more profitable if we can ship stuff in the opposite direction as well. So that's why I'm focusing on, uh, uh, on getting this operational using local materials. Uh, and frankly, I haven't made plastic yet, and, uh, you know, that sounds like a right old adventure. I've just got to find somewhere that I'll actually make it. Um, anyway, what am I going to do today? Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said that I was going to work on more efficiency. But to be honest, at the rate the cash is coming in, I think we're pretty efficient. Uh, with the, what I might look forward to is, uh, is doubling up on a few services later on. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, right, okay, what, do I, what did I do? I added one more ship onto the uh, hub steels and tools and materials uh, route in order to tick that along a little faster. And then on the changes that we made up in the lower valley mountain route that now goes the entire distance. Where's one? Here's one, right? 
Uh, I think I retired, did I retire one or two? I retired a couple of the trains, I think. Uh, either one or two of the trains were retired from that in order to make sure that everything running on there is uh, at capacity and, uh, and at the same time to, uh, to offset some of the running costs. And I don't think it's profit. It is profitable, right? But look at this. Running costs of 14.5 million, uh, total income of 17.5. It's not, it's not vastly profitable. But if you remember, it was running, uh, the, it, it has merged into a route that was unprofitable. Uh, then that, uh, that effect doubles up. Anyway, right, that's more than enough intro. Uh, while the intro is taking place, I'll figure out what we're going to do today. Well, okie dokie, I was, I was pondering what I might get up to, um, and, uh, and, and this chap rolled into the station. Uh, this is the Lakeside Traveller, and uh, given that it's 1976, uh, it, it, he's perhaps a little out of place and out of time. Um, and therefore, a replacement is long overdue. So we'll do this first. Uh, we don't even really need to. Uh, let's have a look at the finances on this train. I mean, it, okay, maybe we do need to. Uh, it's already at kind of maximum age, uh, but as the, the line overall made half a million last year. It's not so bad, but I think we can do better. Incidentally, if you're hearing vague explosions in the background, it's because, you know, some ruddy fool decided it was fireworks night, so... Uh, so everybody's making that kind of thing happen. Um, I can tell you, they're missing the real fireworks, and that's happening right here in Transport Fever. Uh, right, okay, so I need to find an appropriate vehicle. It's being less than subtle at the moment. Um, I need to find the appropriate train to replace it with, because we've got plenty of people waiting, as you, as you can very well see. Uh, and if we start transporting those people, we'll make a goodly amount of cash. Now... This is not an electrified route, and I'd like it to stay that way. All right, let's well let's let's go to the uh, let's go to the train selector and uh, oh, we've got it. I've set this up to use class thirty sevens, but it hasn't happened yet. Probably didn't have the money. It's just on auto. Well, okay, well that's that's the the right choice then, isn't it? Uh, replace now. What do I need? Thirty million. I've got thirty million. Make it happen. There we go. Right, well, that's uh, that's our show. No, it's not our show. We've got more show yet to go. Um, but that, yeah, that'll do nicely. I clearly already made that decision. Look at that. Yeah, that's more like it. Now, let's... I just want to up do, upgrade this station to be uh, high speed. Apply. Thank you. And, uh, and we'll also upgrade these tracks. Uh, as much as this is not the fastest train ever to, uh, to grace the world... Uh, we want to make sure it it uh, it can compete a little later on. There we are. We'll get rid of all of this electrification in the process. I'm sure I'm going to break something in doing this. You know, uh, I think those uh, those Dutch trains that we're running up on the lower valley uh, that they are electrified. In which case, the point to turn the electrification on is going to be here. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, do that as well. Uh, so that's a, that's just a lazy depot I've got going on there, but uh, we might as well fix all of this lot up since I'm in the area, and then we shall look for. Actually, let's uh, let's upgrade this station as well. High speed, uh, not because it needs to be. What do you mean you need to bulldoze it? Well, get rid of it then. Fine. I, I don't know why this. This sparkly track is uh, is that much more interfering with the world, but uh, but so be it. Uh, right, good. That should uh, pick up the pace nicely. So that, this is not only a faster train. Here it comes. Um, but I've also upped the capacity as well from 70 and change to 126. So this should uh, yield quite a handsome profit. Uh, there's also the capacity within this route... Uh, to, uh, to to maybe add an additional train onto it. But I want to avoid doing that just for the time being. Uh, one more piece of tidy up before I start doing something which I'll probably later regret. Uh, and that is heading out to the coal line. Now, I'm not entirely sure where I am. There we go, the coal line. Now, the coal line started picking up, but several of you spotted, and in fact, I also spotted uh, that these wagons that we're rolling, hold your horses, I'm a big fan of the 37, it seems. Um... These wagons have got a max speed of uh, 100 kilometers. 
per hour, uh, whereas the uh, the train's got a 140 limit. Uh, so therefore, the profit's going to be based off a uh, uh, a 100 kilometer an hour limit. Um, yeah, so we're going to switch those up now. This is not going to be cheap, but given that it's a relatively new train, it shouldn't charge me an arm and a leg. Now, the other alternative, of course, would be to switch to... Hold on, let's switch this on, go diesel. Uh, would be to use your friend and mine, the SD40, right? 105 is what it does. Running uh, running cost of 926. But if you look at uh, the current flavour of the month... The running cost is half as much. I would be bonkers to uh, to, to go with uh, the SD40 as much as uh, it is the whole reason why I say that uh, American diesels are my, my favourite train. Don't know why. It's just boxy. I like it. Um, anyway, right. Have one of those, and then we need... How much? 216. We're going to up the, up, the, up the tempo on this one. Uh, we'll use these gondolas here, which are probably inappropriate, although we've got some Deutsche Bahn stuff going on now, so they've only got a top speed of 80. Uh, these guys, 160, so this is going to work absolutely fine. Uh, and then do maths in your head. That's 36, that's 72, so another 4 is 144. Right, good. We want 216, so 144, which is 154, 162, uh, that's 180. Uh, which means another two. Right, job done. Uh, replace now. What do you need? 14 million stone of crows. Anyway, well, I've, I've paid it all off once. I'll pay it all off again. Go. Right, there we are. So that should up the profitability of that route. Um, it's, it's unlikely to move any faster. Um... Which is a shame because I quite like these these little finish hoppers that we've uh, that we've been rocking uh, to date, instead of these big brutes that we've got going on, which I'm pretty sure are American, um, and therefore somewhat out of scale with my nice little British locomotive. But uh, so be it. Anyway, that's that's all trotting on. How much are you carrying? 135. That will pick up as long as I can keep the demand flow flowing appropriately. Uh, and that's uh, and that's going to be a, a long-term goal. Right, okay, now, let's turn our attention, if you please, to where we're going to focus today. Now, I, uh, I'm not kidding when I say that, that getting this airport set up uh, jumping is going to, be, uh, going to be the goal. You'll see we've got a queue happening at this end, and I would be very surprised if we did not have a similar queue, fireworks, uh, at the other... No, we don't have a queue at the other end. This fills me with some optimism. Maybe uh, it's simply a case of giving it enough time for the uh, for the queue to dissipate. Because if I do decide to start building out the goods here, and I know I've got an unhealthy fixation with it right now, um, then uh, ensuring that we uh, we have a, a widely dispersed air fleet is going to be pretty important. Uh, yeah, no, ah, hold on, here's another project you could do that might be cheaper to pull off and bring in better money. Luzerne stands. All right, we're going to go passengers. We've done enough of goods for a little while. All right, so what are we thinking? We've got Luzerne stands to Sarnen, which is a nice, a nicely set up, ready to go kind of a place. Where are you going to put the station? Okay, uh, this is what we're doing. Okay, I didn't have a plan. Now I have a plan, and we're executing it. I've also got to get some tracks across here between this very narrow gap, and I'd quite like to extend the road so that there is the potential for the uh, for the town to spread over there as well. Ooh, talk about your talk about your challenging build. Let's get rid of that. I'm sure the AI will pl plunk it back in before I get round to it. Uh, well, this is a this is a junction of some repute, isn't it? Maybe uh, maybe put a bypass in here. That might uh, that might help some of the, to alleviate the traffic. Let's have a let's have a let's have a look. I apologise. Fireworks and uh, recording of YouTube videos are not conducive bedfellows. Uh, it's either that or uh, or you know it's the opening of Red Dawn. And right now, I ought to be getting my Patrick Swayze truck to... Uh, we don't talk about the sequel, the, the remake. 
uh, and uh, and being ready to, to fight the Russians, but uh, I don't think that's the case. Uh, right, okay, so if we were to swing around here, of course I'm going to have to remodel the whole thing anyway if I'm going to be plunking train track up here, because we're not going to want to go over the road, we're going to want to go under or over it. When I mean un over the road, I don't, you know, don't want a level crossing. All right, let's uh, let's bang a speculative in and see what what it looks like. See, that's I mean that's nice and tidy. That that's worked reason reasonably well uh, as a as a first outing. Now, I don't even have to don't even have to pop a wheelie with it. It's uh, it's worked first time, spot on. One twenty. What have we got here? Now the big red has got three hundred. This has got two hundred, which is plenty. That will be fast enough. There we are. That's, that's that's straight and going across the river. I'm just gonna I'm gonna accept that now, right? And then we'll figure out how everything else slots into it afterwards. Right. Uh, we'll two way this. All right. Obviously, I'm out of money for the moment. All right. You know what? Let's uh, let's uh, get some slush fund in, and uh, and we'll we'll play with that, and uh, and hopefully earn some of it back before uh, before the taxman cometh. Uh, now then, let's. Oh, this is such a beautiful piece of road. All right. Well, well needs must. Uh, right. You're all you're all out of here. So are you. Is that right? Right. That's about right. Okay. So let's. Uh, Let's whiz this up here. All right, whereabouts? Whereabouts are you aiming for? Where's a good Luzernian station? Now, by the river is where we like to stick things, but that's going to be too abrupt of an angle for me to uh, for me to get behind. So I think I think in there, given that this will be a terminal. Uh, we can we can get our station in there. So the the angle of approach you've got going on here will do just fine. Now then, I don't, while we're while we're pondering such things, what else have we got going on? Do, is there an overland route that could come from further afield? Oh, we've got Emmon. This could be the glorious connection of Emmon late in the day. Uh, Brienz and Fruley potentially we could bring in as well. So I'll I'll make this a, a multi multi platform terminal when we set that up. Uh stands meanwhile, I've I've left myself a bit of a chore here to do anything that makes sense. So we could do a bendy a bendy station that goes out in that direction, which is kind of the way we want to go. Or we could just stay at, we could keep it on the on the angle that we've got going on now. Uh, right, we're not going to go underground. We're just going to keep it traditional, unless I've got anything more entertaining than that. The terrifying flying junctions. Uh, station. Sloped station. Regular station. Thank you. Right, now then. Uh, 360 would probably be... Let's go 360. That's that's a beefy old station. In fact, arguably, that's that's more beefy than one, one really needs, but uh, it's all good. Right, and then couple of tracks, uh, high speed, electrification, second street. Basically, give me all of it. Uh, right, okay. So, if I were to put that in there, now there's going to be a bit of a mission to get this town to grow out this way, but there is the, at least the space for it to do so. Maybe if I were to get rid of those bits, we could get it a little bit closer into the bridge, which would make for a, a splendidly dramatic approach. What do you think of that? I think it's probably going to be... It's probably the best you're going to get. All right. Okay. And then, uh, obviously, put some roads in. Okay. Now, this is going to require... Oh, it's, it's almost like the olden days. This is also going to require some uh, some commuting uh, services to be, uh, to be drawn up by yours truly. See, I've gone for something with parking spaces. How's, how's that for fun? Uh, right. Actually, I've chosen a, a very, very wide piece of road for this uh, for this operation. Let's take that to there, and then we'll do another one. Ooh, not like that, we won't. That's that's close-ish. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see if we can't make that a little bit more parallel. There we are. 
That's that's the that's the opposite of parallel. That is that is bendy. Let's try it again. So from here ish. It's not perfectly parallel, I can see that, you can see that, we can all see it. But uh and then, oh ooh, ah now ah right. Uh and then if we uh, if we slim it down a bit, made just regular medium, will it allow me to uh What am I what are my choices here? Road builder. We can sacrifice this uh, this tiny little uh, supermarket. I right, think Tesco's will want a word with you. And in so far as the, the the true definition of a supermarket, all right, we could we could then we could then curve that around the corner a bit maybe. When I say maybe, we'll curve that around the corner a bit. Now, can we? Will you? Yeah, you will thread onto there as well, which is also beneficial. Um, that, there was a good comment came up a couple of weeks ago. This is uh, just in just making conversation while I'm making some roads. Uh, there was a good comment about uh, whether it was going to be uh, worth exploring how to make an effective traffic system within the game, given that uh, you know with almost every every town you come to at this stage in uh, in world history, uh, traffic is. A nightmare, um, and it's an interesting. It's an interesting notion, uh, most definitely an interesting notion, and uh, and it's not something that I've really considered previously, uh, because uh, um, you, you know, when you've got trains to play around with, why would you be that fussed about mucking around with cars? Uh, but uh, no, yeah, you see, it doesn't matter which way you cut that one; it looks terrible. Um, so yes, yeah, so so far I have not ever put any real effort into uh, into trying to make a, a successful um, a successful road network. Although I do pay a, a bit of a nod to it in a in a passing way uh, when it comes down to you know routing routing trucks around, so routing docks and the like. That's another building removal there, but that's a that's a, a swellagant piece of road. There we are. And maybe we'll get some swelligant housing as a result. Uh, let's put it there and see what happens. So, oh, look at this. I am, I'm building this in a way that should allow for, for the local folk to, uh, to, to build themselves something really rather jolly to live in. Uh, the question is, will they? The answer is not without a, a significant amount of, you know, coaxing. You're gonna, I know there's a lot of slope here, but I'm sure there's some way you can make that work. There we go. Look, this this is this is the wide open uh, country of, of of great hope and wonderment. Uh, right, I need to. The reason I did that was I want to do this. Go on, for me. Oh, look at that. It's arguably a little higher than I would like, but. That's that's lovely. Going over the going over the platforms and everything. Oh, terrific! Um, can I do it better? I could probably do it better if I went over the gap. I can do it again anyway, right? There's you know there's nothing to stop me having another go at that and getting it right again. Let's have a look and see if this will go. Now I haven't let, given quite as long a run up this time, so it'd probably struggle. Because we want the bridge length to be a sh uh, as, uh, or rather, the, the bridge elevation to be as low as possible. Yeah, that's the same height. Right, we'll go. We'll we'll go back to plan A if I can uh, if I can repeat that uh, that particular incident. Right, from about there over to about here. One, two, three. I don't want to go any more than three. And obviously we're going to make it out of uh, out of this green stuff because that's the best one. I don't care who says anything else. That's the only one you need to worry about. Uh, let's put in a bit of a cross over there. Run this down this way. Now all we've got to do is is make this this part of town appealing enough that people actually want to live in it. Otherwise, as is so often the case, I will have built up something that you know it looks that the infrastructure's all there, but nobody wants to live in it. Uh, right, good. Now, moving on. Uh, next trick is going to be... Now, if I'm already plumbing in r rail along here, we should take this into consideration, because I'm not kidding. I am going to try and make that work. 
I know, it's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because, no, and it's, uh, the reason it's a bad idea is because the flaming chemical factory where, where one would build their plastics is, uh, is a jolly long way away. Um, now, that, I mean, that, that would lead to a little bit of profit, maybe, but uh, it's, not, it's not convenient. Now then, let's take this round in one and see what it wants to do. There we go. Too much curvature. I doubt that. What do you mean, too much curvature? That's because there's a bit of roads in the way. Okay, get rid of the bit of road then. Easy peasy. Let's try it again. Now, slowing down to 23 uh, is, uh, is is way slower than is than is acceptable. 168, that's not so bad. That's 100 miles an hour and change. Sold. We'll take it. Right, I have chosen to completely ignore the, uh, uh, the goods factory for the moment. Uh, purely because we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. But, uh... I've got to, I've got to get this. I know exactly what I want to do with this. Right, give me country road, uh, medium. What are you? Extra large street? No. Small country road, medium country road. All right, give me something medium and somewhat snazzy. Uh, that looks all right. What do you do? Yeah, that looks okay. All right, I'll go all the way over there like that, and then. Down. One more. There we go. Now, it's a, that's a million quid we're not going to see again. But uh, that does mean that we uh, we get under the get under the train track there with uh, with a plomb or or a tunnel, uh, depending on on your taste. Uh, good. Right. So that leads us out here to uh, where are we? Sarnen. Um, I'll need to look at the, the platform usage there, but we've also got this, I don't know what we're thinking. I clearly had something in mind when I set this up. Uh, where could you end up? You could end up in Briennes. Have I got a train station? I, I haven't got a passenger station in Briennes. This is really a neglected area of the map. Um, all right, and then from Briennes, where can you get to? Well, there's not, not much else down there until, unless you want to do a bit of a, a, a dip into Thun. And why wouldn't you? Uh, before maybe heading out to Bern. Uh, Volum by Bern. We haven't got a passenger route that goes out there either. This suddenly became a very ambitious project. Um, okay, right. So, Brienz is our next stop after Sarnen. So, we're coming in on these two here. In we come. Oh, there we are. That's us coming in now. Uh, and then, let's bring up the route Tron. Who's using what? We've got a yellow route using this one. We've got a purple route going over here. Uh, speak to me. Speak to me. Trains only, please. Uh, purple is not that one. Yellow could be Beckenried and it's Berg. But all of these are backing services. So they're all using Sarnen as a, as a destination point. Uh, what's that purple one there? It's not the looper. It's not the primary lumber. It's, it might be the intercity. Let's, if we uh, if we keep that up, it's the intercity look. So we could continue the intercity out further still, uh, all the way now to uh, maybe as far as Luzerne. But it's not going to get a good run here. This feels like more of a stopping service initially before blasting its way across the landscape uh, all the way to... Volum by Burn, I suppose, uh, which for, for reasons best known to myself, I've, I've decided is going to be our destination. Now then. So the intercity it ought to be extended, really, to, to hit up places further down the line and then stick a few more trains on there as well to make that fly. Uh, but for the moment, we'll leave, we'll leave that particular sleeping dog the hell alone and uh, we'll... Instead, we'll use that uh, that unoccupied platform, but we're going to need a bit of a, a track switch in a good place. So if we're coming up this side, if we're coming back that way, we only need to go one way on that. 
143 ought to be sufficient. Right, so that will allow us to get over onto this side here, which is where it can go further. Now, I'm not going to do that now, because I'd quite like to set this in motion before expanding it out to its full majestic length. Uh, instead, we will get Luzerne plumbed in. Right, give me Bulldozer, or give me death. Uh, ideally not death, though, thank you. Uh, right, okay, so... Uh, let's plunk in something splendidly uh, Terminus-related. Uh, terminal, terminal, terminal. Uh, 360 was what we've been talking about here. Additional tracks. Now, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put four on this, and each one will have a dedicated route going into it. And the challenge is going to be getting four different routes happening. Now, regrettably, it looks like this large chap here is uh, our candidate for getting bulldozed in order to facilitate the future. There we are. That's uh, that's not bad. I don't want to remove two buildings if I can avoid it. You know, people accuse me of being trigger-happy bulldozing, but uh, it's uh, it's never something I do I do without a, a heavy heart of uh, of even a smallest kind of fashion. If I line that up a little bit, then that will that will help. Now, didn't we? Were we talking about somewhere else? We were. We were talking about Emmon. So maybe what I actually want to do is have a through station like here, All right? And then we could then we could spin out to Brienne's as well. All right. Okay, that's what we'll do. Right. Change the station plans. That's the that's the good thing about being the architect of all of this, of course, is I can I can just change my plans as and when I feel like it. There we go. Right, bang this on there. No, don't bang anything on anything. Not yet. Get your get your medium town streetage. Let's get that plunked in first, and then uh, in fact let's large streetage it. What do you think? Bus bays. They sound quite exciting, don't they? Um, Right, let's uh, let's have some some bits of road marked bus there. Yeah, that's that's never going to connect up though, is it? All right, well let's do it like that. Okay, that's that's better. Uh, and then we'll have some loading bay, just for you know for the sake of variety. And then, ooh, I don't know. Um, let's have what are you? Cobbled street paving something there. Stone Slinger. Name Plastford with Metal Street Stripes. Oh, yeah. That's what all the kids love. Show me a Metal Street Stripe. Railings. That's what you meant. Excellent. Where is this road going? Uh, I suppose it's going through there, really. Three buildings will be removed. That's, that's three more buildings that I want to remove. Let's try this with our Metal Street Stripes. Still, still trying to kill three of them. Oh, you know what? Just, just do it. All right. This is the, this is the future. We can't, we can't have old buildings standing in the way of the future. We can't have road that is that badly wiggly as part of this operation. We can, we can make a much better job of that. There you go. Street stripes for everybody. Uh, well, we'll even put some street stripes in there as well. Yeah, that's it. We are, we're I'm on, a, I'm on a bulldozer rampage. Uh, don't get in my way, or you will be rampaged. Uh, right, okay, slightly lumpy piece of road there, but it, uh, but we'll we'll all get over it together. Uh, bit of that here, some of that up there. No, no gently. Look, you're you're doing this with a very cavalier attitude. See, look, you, that's that's now hideous. And you're to blame. There's there's no one else you can point the finger at for that one. Right, okay, that's odd. Uh that's not good. Oh, you don't wanna don't wanna kill all of those innocent people there. They've never done anything to you. Alright, we'll leave it and see what happens. Uh right, okay, good. So I've now got a nice piece of a uh, nice piece of something there, a uh, road, I suppose you'd call it. Uh, that will uh, that will sit nicely alongside the station. All right, we'll leave enough. Hold on, you've, you're you're going to need to move your station about here, in order for that to make sense. 
All right, well, get on with it then. Yeah, I know, I'm not 100% certain that's right. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll put a, an aggressive turn in there. That's, that's a good line. Like so, and then off we jolly well go. Although that said, we've got a we've got a bit of an unnecessary kink in the uh, in the route here. How does that look as you drive along it? It's not so bad. There's not any, and there's no real justification for it. Um, actually, that's okay. It's okay. You can all relax. That's fine. That's all fine. Uh, right, <clears throat> let's get this uh, this uh, this road work back in. I could uh, now's the opportunity to do it a little better. One might very well say, uh, well, yes, better's one thing, I reply, but quick is another. Uh, right, 120, uh, cobbled country road, 120 miles an hour, 120 kilometers an hour on a cobbled road. Good luck with that. Uh, what about this asphalt? Oh, yeah. Now, see, now this is a, this would be good, right? Uh, ignore the fact that the barriers are a little skew with here, but... This would be great, except what I've found is when you uh, when you switch uh, when you transition between road types, uh, everybody slows down, so you end up losing uh, any uh, any gains you might have picked up in in speed because everybody comes to an abrupt halt. Uh, I'd call that a pro tip, but you know it, it's not. It's that's just an observation. I can't even remember what type of road this is. I know I spent an awful long time laying it. Maybe it's this stuff. That looks that looks jolly similar, doesn't it? In fact, it, it looks similar enough that I could say that's the same stuff. Okay, right, good. Uh, in that case, continue onwards to there. Let's see what sort of bridge you can make. All right, there it is. How does it look? It's rather high. It's also, I mean, that's a serious piece of bridge. Uh, I want it made out of, uh, you know, what, what's missing from here is uh, is something that is very commonplace over in in the United Kingdom, which is uh, which is concrete bridges. And also, the centre point of the bridge appears to be about there. Maybe we can uh, we can pull it back a bit, and it not look uh, not look quite as uh, quite as rude. All right, there we are, 404 quid on that one. Anyway, right, that's that con connected back up again. Now, I seem to recall that this was a triangle and I removed two pieces of road. Where's the other one? Oh, it's this one. I need one to get to the, the freight depot. Uh, right, well, maybe if I did something like that, it wouldn't work. Right, okay, well... Let's try it. Oh, hold on. We've got uh, we've got more choices. We do have. Nah, there's no room. Oh, I would have been. That would have been quite nice. Thinking about running along a, a little bit of road along the coastline there. And that could have that could have been something, but it wasn't. So it's nothing. Uh, from here up to there, and make the tunnel. Nope. And make a bridge. You're not really in the mood for anything helpful, are you, friend? Bridget. Well, I hadn't really wanted to go for bridges both sides. A tunnel and a bridge would have been nicer, but this is getting the job done. Uh, hook that up on there at a sensible angle. And with a bit of luck, that will just work out well. Uh, right, okay, so we do now have enough. I, I hadn't taken into account the, the elevation difference to get up to uh, to Emmon there. Um, yes, that's something perhaps I should have considered. Uh, but uh, I've, I've kind of committed to it as a notion now, so, so that's something that's going to happen. Uh, just, just get some regular street, man. Don't mess about with loading bays and stuff. No, I'm going to go with parking lots instead. All right, well, whatever makes you happy. It'll make the commuters happy. Never mind me. All right, we'll stick all of that along there, and it will give me an excuse to get out the Onion Jack car gun later on. 
or it would if this would connect. Uh, what about what about Tidley Street? Tidley Street's happy with that. There we go. We can say it's pedestrianised or something. Um, loving the, uh, the the narrowing of the angle there. Nothing like making it perfectly parallel, is there? And that is nothing like making it perfectly parallel. Come on, let's uh, let's go for let's go for round two. Let's whiz that out a little bit to use as the centre point. There is a very real risk here that you're about to build the same thing again. Just letting you know. Right. Okay, that's good. Then that has rather inevitably put a curve on it. And Beyonce never sang anything about if you like it, you better put a curve on it. I know. I've, I've listened to that song several times. Uh, right, okay. Uh, we'll continue this out this way. I don't know where it's going yet. This is more about just laying it in so that I can get some bridge work over the top. Laying it in twice so that I can get some bridge work over the top. Might as well... Uh, no, if I can leave a gap, then then potentially we can we can slip a pillar in there, which will help build this bridge. There you go, something like that. Don't know where it's going, but as you will have already seen today, uh, the previous set of don't know where it's going has ended up forming this rather magnificent piece of road. So uh, you know, just occasionally, not having a plan for right now is a good thing. Right, and then. A uh, bit of road over the top of that, like this, maybe. That's three is jolly high, but that's okay. That's that's all right. Let's use something else. Apparently, that's concrete. Oh, okay. It does look like concrete. I'll shut up about not having any concrete in this. There is concrete in this. I wasn't looking for it. That's all. Uh, and then we'll do. You know what else? I, I, I want to stick a. I wanna, given we've got the room, I'm going to stick another bit of road in there. There you go. Now I, I, I'm I'm going to be excited to see uh, who's interested in parking in this uh, this car parkery here. Uh, I'll be equally excited if this bit of road that I'm attempting to integrate will will snap to that centre point. It will. Okay, now well, let's try and do it with a straight line. That's not so bad. There we are. Right, now, uh, you, you know, as ever, this is a, uh, a piece of uh, encourage the uh, the AI to, to build out this section in a smart fashion, which obviously it's only going to do if I, if I you know, drive some traffic over here and, uh, uh, and more distinctly, actually, you know, get the town growing. I'm, uh, I'm baffled. I, I always thought I'd got Luzerne connected up, but clearly that is not the case. Um, right, you. In fact, let's go for let's go for a third one around here. Something like. Hold on. Keep bringing that out straight. Right, and then. No, go the other way. That's it. Yeah, go like that. And then try and, you know, just very similarly parallel esque. And then we could put that like that. And then, oh, I don't know, something like this. That'd work. Spot on. Right, okay. See, look, that looks like something. D I don't know what, but it looks like it. Uh, right, now then, we're going to need some uh, need some crossing of the over here. And then we'll we'll stick some trains on this just to get it going. Now, these are going to cost me some money initially, uh, but if I can get them built up, they'll, uh, they'll quite easily pay for themselves over time. Uh, because, as you well know, passenger routes making a bit of cash, easy mode. Uh, right, where are we? Right, so what we've got here is we've got Luzerne to Stans to uh, Sarn and, and then back again. These are two towns that have as yet never been touched uh, by the cold hand of uh, of industrialization and uh, and this should be this should be jolly exciting 
Now then, the question is, what am I going to run up here? I'd quite like to use something that, uh, that I haven't used before. Uh, we are long past the age of steam. I could use the metro liner. I can hear you groaning. Stop it. Uh, we don't want to use the metro liner if we can avoid it because we use it all the flipping time. Um, and that's because it's just so ruddy useful. Uh, the, you know, the, the metro liner has saved my bacon in numerous series. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't want to... I don't want a metro... I'm, I'm not going to rule out that we'll use the metro liner, incidentally. I could use the Mirage, I suppose. Uh, right... We'll put that on there, and we won't even. We're not going to bother with a release signal because uh, it should just it should just work. Uh, right. Okay. Let's set this route up now. This is going to be a kind of a starter route, but I want to develop it a bit further. So we'll we'll definitely revisit it. Uh, we're going to go from Sarnen uh, to Stance to Town to Stance and back to Sarnen. All right, only a little short, you know, a little little looping uh, route, but we've got, see, this is Brienne's, right? And we can, uh, we can put a station in here, up probably near where this food operations are going on, and uh, we could whiz out from, uh, from Sarnen, whiz across the river, don't know how, don't worry about that right now, plunk it off over here with a passenger station, while at the same time, bringing something out from Luzerne, going, you know, wallop right up here, and and then you start to get, you know, something that looks like a, a proper train network going on in this neck of the woods. I know, it, it, it's giving me chills just talking about it. Uh, right, now, given that we think this is west, we'll call this the, uh, the West uh, Valley... Uh, I was going to use commuter, but I don't half use that a lot. Uh, the West uh, Valley... Uh, 20th century, yes, given that that's twen 20th. That might be how the lazy of the world pronounce it, uh, but that is not how it is spelt. There we go, 20th century. Um, and that's because it was only built in the 20th century. There seems to be a semi-appropriate uh, naming convention there. Uh, right, slap this on to that. Thank you. Uh, we're going to need to do some electrification like so good and uh, splendid right okay now all we need to figure out is what I want to run on it okay let us uh, we don't have the cash for this right now uh, we've got it in the in the form of a bank loan should that be required uh, I'm going to run two initially all right, let's start with multiple units. Now we can go electric. Oh, well, actually, what have we missed diesel-wise? The Zephyr. Zephyr's such a pretty train, uh, but ultimately it doesn't make you any money. Uh, we've got the Alco already running. Uh, we've got Class 101s. We do have the high-speed train. Ha! Recently introduced 380 passengers. Goes like the clappers. Um, well, that's a that's a thought. Uh, I don't think this is the route for it yet, but I can, uh, you know, some of what we've been talking about today may well be the route. There's the Metro Liner. The reason we like it, 193 kilometers an hour, 81 passengers on board. Running cost, right? So, um, potentially, like the Mirage, 125 kilometers an hour by comparison. Uh, running cost is still... Um, it was run in Switzerland. I should run these somewhere. I guess it's going to be here then, isn't it? All right, let's let's uh, let's put one into play. Um, do we want to double it up, or do we just want to... We could run three little shorties, couldn't we? I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're 10 million quid a go, but uh, we could do. Uh, West Valley 20th Century, off you trot. Uh, let's give it a funky line colour. Boop, boop, indeed. Let's, well, let's, let's watch it majestically emerge from this engine shed. There we go. Uh, this feels like the appropriate kind of uh, kind of setup for this, this area. Oh, oh my god, that looks horrible. Um, 
Yellow. Terrible. Okay. Uh, come back. Uh, grey. Everybody likes grey. No, you're, you're not looking at the right thing there. Go. Look at this. And then monkey with the colours. Well, grey will certainly blend it in with its surroundings somewhat. But it, it already looks mucky. Uh, shocking red. Come on, look. Give me, a, give me a, an angle I can work with here. You're ruining a perfectly good camera shot with all of this, you know. Now, being electric, it certainly seems to have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more get up and go than the, the 37 that's on the other line there. In fact, you know, that's got thumbnail written all over it, hasn't it? Let's let that happen. I don't want to keep it in red. Wow, that's nice. Uh, right, let's make it a different colour. Come back. Why are, you, why are you fighting me on... I just want to make you... A, give you a, 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 a pleasant-looking colour scheme. But it seems that the, the default has... Uh, there you go. We'll go with this dark blue. Actually, that's, that's kind of a purpley blue, I suppose. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, obviously, there's nobody here. They, they do have quite the stroll to make in order to get here. But I could, uh, I could quite easily hook up a... A secondary passenger route. In fact, I've no idea. Where are you people waiting to go to? Stands to Luzerne commuter route. I got some bad news for you people. The future cometh. Uh, you no longer need to use your uh, your street wagons. Here comes a street wagon now. Look. My golly. Uh, no, you can use, uh, you can, you can embrace the modernity. All right, let's, uh, that, you know, there's an easy win to be had here, you know. Uh, and the easy win involves placing a, a, a bus stop. And, uh, you know, there's easy and then there's like, it takes no effort at all kind of a win. Let's put it, uh, where do we want to put it? No, actually, let's, let's make something a little bit more robust than that. Uh, bus truck station yes where will you where will you sit in my kingdom um, let's go for there that's it because then that becomes a turn turning point as well uh, so if we then find the route we look at that this is where's that that's Grange Road so we go to Grange Road we go over here we stop at the thing jiggle we go back to Grange Road, probably. Although Grange Road isn't a turnaround, is it? No, that's quite that's quite odious. Uh, anyway, but we can do the same at the other end. That way, you see, is where are we? All right, there's Albert Road, and then we'll add a. Yeah, you see, this is this is going to allow it to still work as a as a commuter service, to some degree. Do you want to fit in there? I don't think you do, do you? No. What about on the other side of the road? Wizard it around, and then let's have a look. Yep, that'll do. Right. Splendid. Right, and then from Albert Road, we go out to... Yeah, we go out to Luzerne Transfer. Interesting. I, uh, you know, the impact that has, I think, uh, I think we will we'll have to wait and see. What have we got on here, vehicle-wise? We've got four of these chaps now. I think let's uh, let's offer them some modernity, shall we? Uh, what's the great? It's this Chevy. Thirteen passengers, eighty, eighty, sixty-five, eighty. Any advance on eighty? 85 on a route master. Well, that, we don't really want to sling a route master up and down roads between towns. We'll, we'll stick the Chevy on it. Uh, there we go. And replace now. Yes, please. Okay, right. Well, that's that modernized. We've got a, we've got a train on there now. Uh, I believe they were uh, 10 million a throw. So we'll I think we'll stick another one on. But obviously, you know, there's the first one. Uh, so. Let's get it out of the out of the station again. Multiple unit, electric, mirage, ten million. 
uh, another one would be good as well because then we can have all three on there and they can uh, they can space themselves out in the way that they like doing in your own time come on oh end of month foiled again not enough money yeah i know that uh right anyway let's put you to work west valley ding dong And then this will start to look quite busy. Now, when we've got high-speed trains on here as well, the HST uh, on this on this kind of networky route, that should that should also act as as a rather significant money printer. Um, that's the that's the hope, anyway. Do we want three? Is three too much? Well, I did, we're, we're trying to get these guys to catch up with the modern era. Where are we? West Valley, 20th century. So far, nobody's biting. That's interesting. Why would they not? Is there a better route to get to Sarnan or uh, to, to get to Stans? No, there can't be because there wasn't a route to get to Stans. Maybe, maybe people haven't uh, figured out the, uh, the, the many varied delights of the town of Stans. Well, they're, they're going to get to grips with it now. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right, you two on there as well. Off you go. There we go. Right. Splendid. So uh, with that, we shall go and hang out in stands and uh, and watch watch things happening. Or, uh, or, or happening recently. And that will take us to the end of the episode for today. Okay, so uh, I hadn't uh, ever... This wasn't even on my shopping list of, you know, my, my big list of things to do. Uh, and yet, here we are. Um, it's quite a nice route, though, even though I say so myself. Uh, I'm not 100% thrilled with the, uh, with the number of super tall bridges, but uh, to get things done, you know, it was, it was rather ripping along. I was hoping for a rather... So I was hoping to speed it up enough just to get one to... There we go, we've got one coming. Slow it down, slow it down. If we can get a, a combo shot, Mirage and DC4, I think that's going to make the folks at home properly cheerful. Even though I say so myself. Uh, right, next time around, I will continue development on this particular bit of route. And, uh, and with a bit of luck, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get some success going from that as well. Uh, because at the moment, I don't think we've got any passengers. And that's, that's something that may take a little while to... Uh, to get our head around. No, look at this. They, they go, oh, you've got the new Chevrolet. I must ride on that. Train? No, don't want to go on the train. I want to ride on the bus. We here in stands are bus people. And long may we remain that way. Uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Fling a like in this direction if you enjoyed this one. And subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on further escapades. Uh, I'll be back in the very near future with the next gripping instalment. Um, see, this is how you do blue. Pay attention. Actually, the, the colours are matching up. The colours are matching up. Hold on. Please hold. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix the colours. Thank you, autosave. Perfect timing. I could have made this relatively smooth, and uh, we could be in and out and gone, and the, the bouncy ball spinny cube thing, it might not even be here at this point. I don't know when it's going to turn up until I put it in the thing. Uh, slightly lighter blue. That's, that's not lighter so much as just vibrant. That's slightly better. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Cheerio.